All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this lesson is going to be entitled, This Truth is a Plague unto Edom. This Truth is a Plague unto Edom. All right, and, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, he uh, told his disciples, you know, to feed, his, to feed the sheep. And it, it's an important thing. It's a very important thing that the sheep get fed because this word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will bring the end of Esau's kingdom. And um, I got finished watching again a video the elder brother in the main camp, Amawan Gabar, he did on the, uh, the Jake woman on the plane. And I was watching it and it kind of got me hyped. You know, because, you know, through the spiritual eye, you can see that this word is going out through the four corners of the earth. And even that Jake may not practice being a Hebrew and, you know, holding the customs and traditions of being a Hebrew Israelite. But they know who Esau Edom is. And by watching this video, when the Lord put a spirit on you, all right. You know, that fire behind his word and his spirit is going to make you speak, okay, against this devil. All right, there's a, you know, there's long, you know, Esau Edom is long overdue. And you can't erase what Esau have done unto Jacob, you know. So I just got a few precepts here, you know, just to bring out the word, you know, and to show to show the Lord's hopeful elect that all we have to do is teach. And that's what uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, Gabar, all right, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Rakar, you know, and the rest of the elders in Connecticut, all right, on down. You know, our apostles and elders teach us to just teach. Just teach and just teach, all right, endure all the way to the end because it's truly this word that is bringing this devil down. Okay, it's not one individual. It's not nothing carnal. It's spiritual. You know, it's not your rap. You know, certain Israelite groups have a rap, um, a rap administration in their congregation, a music administration, you know. But, you know, that ain't doing it. What's doing it is the word of the Lord. You know, this gospel that's being taught throughout the four corners of the world. So this is Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of, it says Yahweh of hosts, because ye speck this word. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. You know, so when we speak the truth, it's going to devour Esau. Now, going back into the video. The Jake woman on the plane condemning Esau, you know, most of those people were laughing. Some individuals was cheering her on, but she planted a seed. You know, Esau is not looking for Jake to be, to have some form of intelligence, you know, some form of truth. They used to Jake being silly, you know, Jake being ignorant. You know, one thing that they're scared of <clears throat> is that the Lord's people all right, the Israelites being awoken, you know, not even these Edomites here on a low level know that they Edomites. But when you start, you know, talking to Esau with intelligence of truth, all right, with the real truth, it plants a seed in their mind. It bothers them. You know, she may in this video, uh, you know, laugh, try to laugh it off and look for help of other people to back her up. You know, so she don't feel so so hurt by what, you know, the black woman was saying to her. But I guarantee when she go home and lay her head down, she's going to think about all the things that she said. And she was attacking her 
you know, her gene. She was attacking her being Esau. She was attack. She was basically telling her the truth of her recessive gene. You know that that the Most High created them to be red. You know, and things and, and more things of that nature. You know, things like that is not what average folks want to hear as a comeback or an argument. But when you start speaking truth, it plants a seed in them. So let's continue. This is Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So the word of the Lord is devouring Esau. Esau is literally being destroyed from the inside out. Meanwhile, he has Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's in the mind of these elites, you know, for them to bring down their own kingdom, to destroy themselves. All right, by the way of their planning and the agenda of their new world order. Man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the true, okay, master when it comes to chess or say checkmate. All right, so let's move on to the next scripture. And it's not going to be a long lesson. I only have a few scriptures that came in mind. But uh, importantly, Lord willing, this lesson to be edifying. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. Well, let's start at verse 7. It's Well, let's start at verse 5. This is Apostle Paul speaking. He says, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So Apostle Paul is talking about someone being revealed in his time. And he's talking about the wicked one. So it says, For the mysteries of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Who is the wicked? That is Esau, Edom. They're being revealed. All right. And the woman was telling her on the plane, telling the Edomite woman that her time is up. White privilege ain't working no more. You don't own America. You know, she was really getting into her, uh, you know, getting into her bones. You know, waking them up, alarming them. To the fact that they don't have any power no more. Esau Edom is losing power. And why? Because it's through the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Everybody is knowing this word, man. Everybody know who Esau Edom is. That's how we know that it's about for his kingdom to come to an end. All right? For the mysteries of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. Until he be taken out of the way. How's Esau going to be taken out of the way? By Yahweh Shai. Michael the archangel. Alright. And you know. In the angels period. Yahweh Shai and the angels. Coming back to recover the remnant. His election. And also to destroy the wicked. It says verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord. Shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the spirit of the Lord's mouth, all right, is destroying these devils, man. It's consuming them. It says, whom the Lord will consume. It's like, you know, that word consume, it, it reminds me of um, Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> when, you, when you, you know, brothers who, you know, know about uh, Mortal Kombat and uh, the guy Saint Tushang. You know, what, what What was his ability? His ability was to take your soul away from you. He had consume your soul away from you. You know, from out of you, excuse me. You know, to consume. Matter of fact, just, let's see, let's just see. So like, yeah, just, you know, we like to look up our words because it brings more edification to expand, to consume, spend money to consume, use up, destroy, ooh, to use up. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is using up Edom. 
he's using up Edom and for all of his wickedness that he got. Because why? The Lord is going to show his glory. He's going to show his power in thee. All right. So Esau is being used on the left hand side to do all that he can do for his wickedness. He's given Esau the ultimate power of wickedness just so that the heavenly father can destroy him and let his name reign in the earth, man. To consume, use up, destroy. You know, the Lord is literally going to snatch the soul. Well, let's say snatch the power from Esau ruling. You know, while Esau maintains his soul. He's going to snatch the power from Esau, man. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of his mouth, okay, is the word. All right. The Rakakwadash spirit, holy, holy spirit. And that's consuming him. It says, and shall destroy the destroy with the brightness of his coming. So physically, he's going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shai and the angels crack those clouds, come out of those portals. All right, and into an our realm and physically go to work, make war with them. Okay, as it is written, okay, who shall make war with the beast? That's Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me get to my last scripture here. You know, like I said, I only had a few precepts lined up. This is uh, Hebrews. Uh, what else is like? Okay, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 4 and uh, verse 12. Matter of fact, yep, verse 12. Nope, let's read a little into it. Um, verse 9, it says, Therefore remaineth, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. So you see, that there is a rest to the Lord's chosen. Okay, you hear that vocab? Vocab the devil Malone. There's a rest for the Lord's people. Okay, his election, his chosen line, his chosen seed from Abraham, Isaac to Jacob and to the, the sons of Jacob. There remain, therefore, a rest to the people of Yahweh. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works as Yahweh did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Because that rest represents salvation. Verse 12, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful. And sharpen in any two-edged sword, piercing even the, to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Okay? So the word of the Lord is quick, powerful, and sharpen in any two-edged sword. So when this word goes out and it's being spoken Okay, from the prophets first, but even down to who the Lord pours his spirit upon to prophesy, as is written in Acts 2. He said he will pour his spirit down upon all flesh to prophesy. Then guess what? When it's being said, if if you're the wicked, then guess what? It's gonna be a two, it's gonna be a quick and powerful and a sharp two-edged sword unto you, piercing. Even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. So it gets down into your conscience, your mental, down to your spirit and soul. It says into the joints of the marrow. Why it gets into your joints and marrow? Because it makes you move. You know, this truth either going to bring uh, the demon out of you. All right. Or it's going to bring forth righteousness out of you. Okay. This truth reveals who, you, who your spirit is. It says... And is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this truth, this word, make you think. Yahweh's word makes you think. It makes you discern. You know, what is right? What is wrong? What is good? What is evil? All right? 
of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. You know, it makes your heart bump, your heart uh, beat fast. Excuse me. It makes your heart beat fast. You know, it makes you scared, it puts fear in you. Or it could bring joy, excitement. You know, so, you know, that's basically the point of this lesson. Is that this truth, the word of the Lord, is a plague unto Edom. And eventually, the Most High is going to destroy you Edomites. Your, your uh, uh, white supremacy and, you know, privilege is really done. These elites are taking all that away from you to destroy themselves. Because they think they're in good case to bring forth a new world, a new way of living. But instead, they're falling right in down, right into the path of the trick bag that Yahweh have set up for them. All right. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.